Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone iPad Touch right here using your Mac. That's right. So it doesn't matter which device you got, this is how you do it on your Mac. Now, if you have an older Mac, that means you would be using iTunes. However, most of you will be using Finder to do this. So make sure just to hook up your iPhone iPad Touch directly to your computer using that cable that came with it. Once you do that, you're going to find Finder down here below. So this is Finder. Just open up Finder. Once you open up Finder on the side, on the left hand side, you should see your device's name. So this is my device's name, Tech and Design. Yours could be anything. And again, this could be an iPhone, iPad Touch. It's exact same instructions for all of them. Now let's say on your Finder, you don't see that. Well, on the top left hand side of your screen, you're gonna see Finder, go into Preferences. In your Preferences, you're gonna see this, the third option where it says Sidebar. Just make sure in your Sidebar, you've got locations turned on. So for example, iOS devices, that you need this one specially turned on. So CDs, DVDs, and iOS devices. So make sure you have a check mark right there. And here we go. So from there, you should be seeing this screen. Now, you can back up your iPhone iPad Touch directly on your computer and update it, or you can just update it. What I personally like to do is just back up the most important data from my iPhone iPad Touch on iCloud. So that just takes up usually less than those five gigs that you get for free. And then everything else will be backed up on my Mac. Now you don't have to do this, but down here below, you're gonna see this sync only checked songs and videos. You might not want to sync any of your music from your Mac. So just make sure these make sense to you. Just put a check mark wherever you want and whatever you want to sync up. Cause that's gonna be transferred right on to your iPhone, iPad or touch. Now the reason why I suggest always backing up is because just in case something happens, and you have to restore it, you can just get all your information back into it. But you could skip that step and just click on check for updates. So you're gonna see that option up here. It's gonna say check for updates. But if you do wanna back up, just click on backup now. Anyways, once you've done that, or maybe you skip that step, just go into check for updates. You will see this, the newest update. So this could be iOS 16 or just iOS 16.0.2. And yes, what I suggest doing is download and update. Don't just download it. So we're gonna click on the first option. Once we do that, you're gonna see this message. Just click on next, agree. And from there on your device, you're gonna have to put in your passcode. So don't disconnect it from your computer. Just put in the passcode for it. If you have a passcode that is. Once you do that, click on continue. And right now you can view down here below what's going on. So on the bottom of your bar, you should see something like this, downloading. It's downloading six gigs. So it's actually a pretty big update. Although it just fixes some things, it's a pretty big update once it comes down to downloading directly on your Mac and then it's gonna install it. Just make sure never to unhook it from your Mac. So whatever you guys have plugged in, your iPhone, iPad of a touch, do not unhook it, do not turn off your Mac. Do not mess around with your phone or whichever device you're updating. Just let it be. Now your device will restart by itself and then you're gonna be done with the update. But for now, all we can do is just wait. All right, so as you're going throughout this process, you're gonna see this. Do you want your backups of Tech and Design, well, that's that device's name, to be encrypted? Well, this is really up to you guys if you like to encrypt them or not. However, I do suggest just choosing encrypted. That way the backup does include everything. So we're gonna go ahead and choose the first one. And right now you just have to put in a password to protect your phone backup. Now, if you do that, just remember to keep this check mark right here. Remember this password in my keychain because you might forget it later and you do not want to forget that. So keep that in your keychain so that way it's all good. So I just set up my password. Just click on set password. Your device will ask you to put in your passcode, which is different. Uh, or it could be the same thing, maybe. Depends how you guys set it up. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it. All you guys are going to see is this down here below, which is backing up your phone so you can go on and do the update. I do want to note that at this point you should see your software plus your Mac is preparing to update the software on this iPhone. Well, in this case it's an iPhone, could be an iPhone, it could be an iPad or iPod Touch. All right, so as you're backing up, the next step will show you this, preparing iPhone software update and then beside this, your device's name, you should see this happening. Now at this point in time, when you're seeing this happening, that means your iPhone iPad up a touch already restarted and you should see an Apple logo in a loading bar right there on your iDevice. 
So that means it's actually done downloading, it's just installing the software for you. And as always, never, never unhook your iPhone iPad up touch from your Mac while you're doing this. As you see that bar going on on your iDevice, you should also see this right here happening. So that's, again, it's just a bar on your device going faster if you're looking at your device. And then your Mac, again, you're just looking at this. It's so just going to verify the update, and then you're going to be done. Because the second time that you guys see the Apple logo plus the loading bar, that one's going to go a lot faster, and then you're going to be done with the update. So right now, again, it's just verifying the update. We're going to see this happening here, so you know the progress, you know something's happening. It's not stuck on anything, and you're good to go. Yes, for some of you, this could take longer depending on how old your Mac is. And the downloading process can also take longer for you depending on your internet speed. If you guys want this to go a little bit faster, you could hook up your Mac directly to your router using an ethernet cable, which should help you out. And finally, you should see this message popping up, which says your iPhone's restarting. It's just going to restart and you're officially done with the update. Right now, nothing should be on the locations, just restarting. On your device, you should see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and just let it do what it needs to do. So just to show you how this looks like, so on your device, on your screen, you should see this, an Apple logo in the loading bar that I mentioned. And after that, you are all done. You can just swipe up on your device. It's gonna ask you for your passcode, and here we go. That's it for today's video. We're all up to date. Just to make sure you can go into your settings, general, software update, and then right here, it should tell you that you're all up to date to the latest iOS. Anyways, that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.